Jonathan with Nerds Newsstand, and I want to talk about a rumor that is flying around about Johnny Depp. Now, this is coming from an unknown source, and of course, with all these things, um, we've got this covered or random, uh, rather untrustworthy sites. I want to kind of preface this by saying it is a rumor. It could be completely uh, illegitimate. It could be completely false. Uh, but it's it's fun to talk about in a way. The first movie I really ever saw Leonardo DiCaprio in was What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And I thought it was the most like amazing movie I'd ever seen, right? I thought it was such a cool thing. And I loved Johnny Depp from such a young age. Um... Seeing this movie to me was like, you know, revolutionary. Well, then come a few years later and I see Leonardo DiCaprio again. And I am so confused at this point. Mind you, I am just a little girl. And I'm I'm sitting there asking my dad, what kind of doctors did he get? How was he able to go from somebody who was mentally retarded to now this this completely different person? Not understanding the concept of a movie. Uh, yeah, but that's that movie still is so good. And there's a lot of things. You know, both of them are Hollywood royalty at this point. Um, I think any sort of public disagreement would do both of them harm. And I'm talking about Leonardo DiCaprio, too. Not just, you know, the harm that has come uh, via the libel trial for Johnny Depp, but it would also do Leonardo DiCaprio a lot of harm. So, uh, apparently, he is upset. During the trial, um, you know, there was a lot of allegations thrown around when it came from uh, both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's team. Now, this one actually did come from Amber Heard's team. So, um, whether or not it is true is kind of up for debate. Not only that, but whether or not this even, you know, he's even upset is up for debate. But, apparently he called him Pumpkinhead and accused both he and Amber of having some sort of, you know, extramarital affair during their marriage. Um, and this is upset Leonardo DiCaprio. He allegedly is furious at Johnny Depp for dragging his name into these recent court re- proceedings. And I get not wanting your name dragged across. Um, and I also get not wanting to be involved at all as a celebrity because really you lose either way. You lose, um, you know, if you say something positive about Amber Heard, you lose, you know, Johnny fans. If you say something positive about Johnny Depp, then people are going, oh, but don't you believe all women? So it's really a lose-lose situation. So I get not wanting to be involved when it comes to this situation. Now, this is um, from the new idea. And I've actually never heard of this website. It was very much so reminding me like of um, TMZ or Us Weekly. Kind of that tabloid side of the internet that I kind of try to stay away from. But this is actually pretty funny. So an unarmed, an un, I said unarmed, an unnamed source claimed that DiCaprio vowed to destroy Depp's career so that he couldn't ruin uh, the former's name and reputation further. Now, if this is true, that's rather silly, and I have a theory behind it. If this is true, let's pretend like it is for a second, the only reason he would want to destroy his the entirety of the rest of his career is because he had something to hide, right? Why would you not want um, your reputation or name slandered unless you were guilty? Which seems uh, maybe that's what they were kind of leading us to believe in this situation. But if it's not true, then it, you know it's moot point. But if he really, really, and it doesn't, it just seems very odd to me that he would want to ruin a man's career. Like at this point. Can Johnny really bounce back from this? I mean, I think so. I think he's got enough credibility and there are enough good people out there that would hire him. Now, do I actually see him working back for, uh, you know, the big business like Disney? No, I, I, I don't. And I know a lot of people won't watch Pirates without Johnny Depp. But 
In this situation, I don't think his, you know, I just think he's going to have a little bit harder time than he's used to kind of getting those new gigs. So this is what the source said. Leo is livid. He's banned all of his associates as well as anyone who wants to work with him ever again from dealing with Johnny. He can't believe Johnny thrown him into the mess like it's no big deal. Okay, I I get, like I said, I I am sympathetic to not wanting to be involved. But, again, unless you have something to hide, this seems a little over the top. Like, Pumpkinhead? Really? Like, is it really that serious? No, probably not. So if he's really that mad and he's saying, you know, guilty by association, you work with him, I won't work with you. You hire him, I won't work for you. Seems really, really over the top. Now, um, all, they also said, you know, that Depp and DiCaprio were once very close, right? I think most people kind of figured that out. And I'm not saying I knew they were, you know, besties or anything. But I do know that they were, you know, they worked on stuff together. Of course, they're going to uh, be relatively close. They're not that far off in age. I mean, um, maybe 10 years. I actually don't know how old... Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is. I just remember him, you know, as a little girl thinking he was, you know, the next best thing since sliced bread. But they do go on to say Johnny is going to find himself almost unemployable after all of this is over. Well, it is over now, just waiting on an answer. But he did himself no favors by revealing the childish nicknames. He didn't. Again, he didn't. Amber Amber went through this with... Uh, you know, not only Leonardo DiCaprio, but Chatham Tating, or however, Tatum Ch- I don't know how to say his name. I'll put it uh, as I'm talking. But uh, there was quite a few of them. So um, by revealing these nicknames, he saddened a lot of them with either. In his blind determination to destroy Amber, he pretty much cut his nose off to spite his face. I mean, no, not really, because he didn't do those things. This source sounds a little um, inaccurate because they they didn't come from Amber's side. I mean, Johnny's side. They came specifically from Amber's side. And if you're really that offended over nicknames, I can't imagine what you would be offended by how people talk behind closed doors. Like, pumpkin head. I, I I think the other one was like potato something. I don't know. Potato... Man, I don't know. I don't even know how to say the guy's name. So, but anyways, like this is this is dumb. This is really really over the top. And that's what makes me wonder if this almost isn't fabricated for a new story. Now, of course, I can't confirm that. That's just personally what it seems like to me because it is so it is so over the top, right? So, I don't know. I don't we'll have to wait and see if something is actually said publicly by Leonardo DiCaprio and until then kind of just chalk it up to maybe maybe not and yeah I I did it's so ridiculous like they're dumb nicknames I've said a lot worse in private so most people anyways let me know of course what you guys think about this whether or not you think it has any validity to it whatsoever or if you think it's just a mm, garbage article I probably shouldn't have reported on. But it's definitely interesting to speculate every once in a while, right? So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I want to give a huge shout-out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.